color options example now let's assume you own 100 shares of abc stock trading at 10 dollars now let's assume you have bought it at a lower rate and it has run up to 10 dollars and now you are in a handsome profit now you can construct a collar by purchasing one put with a strike price of dollar 6 and selling one call at a strike price of dollar 14 so basically if you if you look at it it's really designed in a certain way that is stock is trading at 10 dollars so we have put in the first put with a strike price of $6, that is a $4 difference. And selling a one call at a strike price of $1.14, that is $4 difference. And you can construct as many callers as you can like uh, fulfill the margin requirement for. You can put in 10 contracts. So basically, you can like amplify it if you want to. However, in this example, we'll discuss one put and one call that is one caller however you can amplify it and then your profits will be amplified but if you own 100 shares then you only need one caller so the caller would help you make a max profit of dollar four and a max loss of dollar four if you look at it it's the same difference that we constructed the caller for from six dollars till the spot price of ten dollars the difference was four dollars from the higher call strike price of fourteen dollars till the stock trading spot price of dollar ten the difference was four dollars so we know that our max profit will be dollar four max loss will be dollar four you can construct the caller in different strike prices that is you can bring up the put option from six to eight that will reduce your losses from max loss of four to two and the same way you can like increase the strike price for call option higher or lower but the basic point is premium so you need to look up the premium either as we discussed in the earlier chapter either you need to make it a costless caller that is no cost associated or my recommendation is always be in profit so construct a caller based on net credit however you can change the prices but if you will change the prices then the profit and loss will change basically as you own the stock you already have like invested in the stock so the strike price of 14 dollars for the call option acts as your cap as your ceiling and the strike price of six dollar mentioned here acts as the floor as you own the stock so your profit and loss is designed by the strike prices of put and call option so if you remove like uh, put the call option at ten dollars or like let's say twelve dollars then your profit will be two dollars if you put your uh, put option not on six dollar but on eight dollar then your max loss will be reduced to two dollars so you can adjust them according to your like uh, understanding of the market so that you don't have so much risk if it is a costless caller then it's not even a problem because you're not getting like uh, you're not paying it from your pocket it's a simple strategy that is designed to pay itself off if it is paying you net credit very good you're getting paid for it now if the stock price is above dollar 14 that is above the call strike price then you can exercise the call option so basically you let the put option expire and you exercise the call option through the call option you can sell your shares at $14 and lock in the $4 profit minus fees that is brokerage fees or any fees that applies to your account so basically your shares got a higher net worth you didn't sold it earlier at dollar 10 you waited and got a good profit of 14 dollars 
Now this strategy can be applied on support and resistance. You know at $10 that the major resistance lies at $14. So you can construct the collar in such a way that if it goes at 14 and your collar expires, then you book it right there. And if you put in the support level of 6, then you know if it breaks 6, then it's going further down. So you are locking in your profits. That's the best part. So if the stock goes on a higher high, you locked in a good handsome profit at $14. And if the caller was like a, a net credit transaction, then you even, you even got paid for it. However, even if the price goes to $20, then even your profit will max 4. Because this is what the caller strategy is. It limits your option and helps you with peace of mind. So you need to remember this. Now, if the stock drops to $6 or below, then you can exercise the put. And the investor who sold you the put is forced to buy your 100 shares at $6. So basically the caller is constructed by using the strengths of options. The strength of option is that if someone has sold you the put, he needs to buy your 100 shares at the strike price of the put. So basically, you have a peace of mind that if it falls lower, you can simply sell it. And that's the number one reason why hedge funds, mutual funds, high net worth clients use these option strategies. I have made many courses on like option strategies. Why? Because I have seen that the big guys are making handsome profit from these strategies. Whereas a common person, a retail investor like you is not. And that's the number one reason that you end up like losing money in the market or with a smaller profit. Whereas the big guns make huge profits. How? Because they execute strategies like this. If you look at the strategy, it's a costless caller. Then even the hedge fund is not paying anything for the caller. It's simple. No money given. But they have a brilliant thing. They have put in a parameter which states that they cannot lose a certain amount and they can gain a certain amount from the current price. So they are not selling the stock right away. They are waiting for it if they can make a higher amount. And in turn, if it is a net credit transaction, that is, they are being paid for within the premium, only a few cents, but they are getting paid. Then they know that, okay, awesome. We are getting paid for it with a chance to hit a higher high, a higher profit. The best thing. Now, if it goes below, then you lose the maximum on the stock of four dollars but it's a max loss plus fees that is brokerage fees or any fees that applies to your account and this loss cannot be increased so basically if the stock went below six dollars then let's say it goes to two dollars then even you can book your losses or book your stock at six dollars limited loss now i have put in the rates at like lower level of $10, $6. But if you put in at a higher dollar, let's say a $100 stock, and you put in these put option and call option at say 96 or 104, then it's a huge difference because if it falls from 100 and goes to 70, that's a huge fall. But this strategy helps you to book your stock at a certain rate even before time so you know at strike price you have this option available with you a best, the best option of all even if the price falls off from the cliff 
your loss is limited in our example it's only four dollars even if the stock goes to two dollars or one dollar or zero dollar then even you can exercise and sell stock at the put option that is at four dollar loss nothing more so it gives you a peace of mind and that's why hedge funds and like high net worth client loves these option strategies because they know that they help them make money and limit their losses because if you don't apply this strategy and you already own a stock and you have earned a handsome amount on paper on account but you have not sold the stock and what if it falls off the cliff you cannot do anything and you have to sell it at whatever price the market offers it can open lower we all know we wake up in the morning and the price opens five dollars lower what can you do nothing that's why these strategies limits even if it opens lower then even the writer of put needs to buy your shares at the strike price that he committed so you don't care if the market opens lower because you have put in a parameter and if you earn net credit in the caller then you deduct that net credit from the four dollar losses so it reduces the losses further why because you are being paid for the caller option and if it like goes higher then you add the net credit in the like four dollar profit so basically that net credit helps to reduce the losses as well but it won't be so much so that the four dollar will be changed to one dollar it will be only few cents but it's a helpful hand if the stock ends in between the two strike price on the expiry date then both options expire you get to keep your 100 shares plus the net credit earned by selling the call option minus the premium paid for purchasing the put option minus any brokerage fees that applies to your account so basically the uh, like the thinking behind this strategy is if the stock you believe is going straight it's not going up it's not going down if it ends up straight then you keep the earned money and the 100 do- shares without any risk without any problem however if it falls you can like use this option if it rises you can use this option it's up to you the best of both worlds that's why hedge funds love this strategy thank you